Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today to talk about the Wizards firing GM, former GM, Tommy Shepard, after five seasons with the team. Before I continue, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe to your channel. I really appreciate if you do that. Sorry that this video came out a day or two later than I wanted it to. I was really busy with some things, um, but I did want to react to this news since I am a Washington Wizards fan. And, um... I don't blame Ted Leonsis. He's the one that made this move, the owner of the Wizards. He said that um, basically they're going to be looking for somebody outside of the franchise. Tommy Shepard is hired uh, within the franchise. They're going to be looking for somebody outside of the franchise. He, stood, he is very supportive of West Sunset Jr., the head coach, Tom, uh, Ted Leonsis is. But I, I'll give Ted Leonsis credit. That was a comment that – I'll give him credit for that comment. He was frustrated this season. And originally, it didn't look like any moves were going to be made with the co with the with uh, West Sunset Jr. or Tommy Shepard. But Ted Leonsis says, "Hey, I'm firing uh, Tommy Shepard, or, or GM, President of Basketball Operations, and um, we're going to start fresh there." So I'll give Ted Leonsis a lot of credit there. Um, because let me tell you something: this back-to-back se -back 35 and 47 seasons just very frustrating overall. This season was uh, as a Wizards fan. But I do want to uh, look into Tommy Shepard's uh, record because I actually don't think his record was horrible as a GM. Um, he won some trades for the Wizards. Let's we'll start off with the Russell Westbrook trade. Trading John Wall for Russell Westbrook. He won that trade. The Rockets did absolutely nothing with that trade. And um, the the uh, Wizards, the one year we had Russell Westbrook, we got to see him break the triple-double record. And a Washington Wizards jersey, and they made the playoffs. Say what you want, they got gentlemen swept in five, still made the playoffs. When he traded away West Westbrook, Tommy Shepard, to the Lakers for Kyle Kuzma, Matres Hale, um, I, I think KCP came in the trade as well. He won that trade as well, in my opinion. Uh, Kyle Kuzma is a guy that. He wants to come back. He's a free agent, but he wants to come back. I wouldn't resign for the price he's asking for, $20 million a year personally. But in today's NBA, you might have to do that in today's NBA. Um, but I felt like he won that trade as well. Uh, the um, the uh, Christoph Pazingas trade, I think he won that trade as well. I really do. Uh, you could say that the Mavericks made the Western Conference Finals. It wasn't because of Spencer Dinwiddie. Um, and look what look what the Mavericks did. Uh, they traded away Spencer Dinwiddie for Kyrie Irving, and the Mavericks are in the same position as the Wizards right now, uh, outside the playoffs. So you look at um, the Wizards overall. I feel like they won that trade. You got out of a really bad contract also, and David Bertans as well, uh, and. When Tommy Shepard ran, came down to free agency, didn't really do that well in that department, in my opinion. Spencer did really, I did like the signing, but it just didn't work out with the Wizards. The David Berton deal was horrible. Um, I mean, the Bradley Beal deal, I mean, I guess if you think he's your, uh, he's your uh, cornerstone, I guess. I mean, some people argue to just let him walk. Just wasn't good in free agency. Um, other trade, another trade just popped up in my mind with Tommy Shepard. The the uh, the, the uh, Gaffer trade. Uh, I mean, he traded Chandler Hutchison for Gaffer, and that trade I think worked out for the Wizards. They won that trade because I remember that trade deadline. Uh, that was the trade deadline when we made the playoffs with Russell Westbrook. Uh, that was the move, and I was like, ah, is this move really going to do anything? I mean, it was just such a small trade, but give Tommy Shepard credit. He evaluated that, that trade, the talent there. Daniel Gafford got traded to the Wizards, and I, I mean, I think the Wizards won that trade big time. Uh, drafting for uh, the, the, the uh, big draft bus. Well, I shouldn't say draft bus yet, but J Johnny Davis is not working out for the Wizards. Year one was a massive disappointment, and maybe that's one. I think that is one of the main reasons why Tommy Shepard got fired. Um, but we'll see. He, I, I don't think Johnny Davis is going to have a full year in the NBA next year, and um, we'll see. We will see. Uh, I'm not absolutely sold on Denny. I'm just not. 
and I'm not absolutely sold on uh, Kisper either. Kisper, I still think, has to grow. Riri Hachimura, um, that flopped. And I, th I don't think that was completely uh, Tommy Shepard's fault. I feel like coaching was part of the issue there. I always felt like Riri played very passive as a wizard. Um, you're seeing with the Lakers, he's playing more aggressive. I remember that playoff series against the Sixers. Uh, I, I kept on yelling at my TV screen at Riri to play more aggressive. I feel like if he played more aggressive throughout his tenure at the Wizards, he would not be a L.A. Laker or still be a Washington Wizard. Um, but I actually don't – if you look at the, uh, Tommy Shepard's tenure for the five years he was the president of basketball operations and the GM, it's probably middle of the pack. I mean, to be completely honest with you, I do think he is good at making trades. I don't think the Wizards absolutely got hosed on a trade. Um, as a matter of fact, I think he, most of the trades he made, he won. Uh, the only trade I don't think he won was this Riri Hachimura trade. But overall, um, free agency duds, I mean, e I mean, even, uh, the, uh, free agency move to sign, um, Delon Wright. I like that move. Delon, I think Delon Wright, definitely a good guy off the bench. And they went out and got Monty Morris and Will Barn when KCP went out and signed, with the uh, Nuggets in a in a sign and trade, those are good bench pieces. It kind of didn't work out with Will Bar with uh, Will Barn, uh, with um, Monty Morris. It's been okay, but overall, I don't think Tommy Shepard did a horrible job during his five years here. But I understand why because it could have been a lot better. It could have. I understand why Ted Leonis is wanting to make the move. He's going to be looking for somebody outside the organization, which I think is good. Get a fresh set of eyes inside the Wizards organization. I'm interested to see who they uh, go ahead and hire. And I am going to react um, to uh, the hiring when that happens. Um, but he has the full, but he's fully supporting West Elmsdale Jr. as the head coach. Next year is going to be a really big year for West Elmsdale Jr. He deserves to be on the hot seat. Mr. 35 and 47 himself. Um, he has to get 40 wins, in my opinion, Russ Elson Jr. to uh, be uh, keep the uh, Wizards head coaching job. And but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, there's two big head coaching. There's two uh, big head coaches out on the market right now. Ime Odoka and this morning Nick Nurse got fired. I think the Raptors are going to blow it all up outside of um, Precious E. Chira. And as Siakam, I, I think they're just going to blow the whole thing up. I mean, there was talks about them blowing up at the trade deadline, like the Magic did a few years ago, trading Nicole Yubutrik and uh, all their players, but and, and Aaron Gordon. But anyways, just want to come on here, give my reaction to it. it I mean, I understand the move. I'm, I, I do support it, but at the same time, I don't think Tommy Shepard was terrible. So comment down below, tell me what you think. I always like hearing from you all. Thanks for watching. McD the Beast signing off.